Both Pfizer and Merck have submitted COVID-19 antiviral pills to the FDA for approval, claiming they reduce hospitalizations and death by 90 and 50 percent, respectively. We spoke to an infectious disease specialist to find out how exactly the pills work to fight the virus. Well, Nupravir, which is from uh, Merck, the way that that medication works is it's called a nucleoside analog. So basically the way that works is that uh, the building blocks of every living thing, including humans and viruses, are, gen are genes, and those are made out of DNA or RNA in the case of viruses. This pill, what it is, it's an analog of the genetic sequence or one genetic part of the the virus. The analog is essentially a fake building block. When the virus uses that in its construction process, the structure is no longer solid and begins to collapse. The replication of the, of the virus is malfunctions and mutations happen and that's how you kill it. Pfizer's drug called Paxlovid is a protease inhibitor which works a little differently. The drug interrupts the viral life cycle and stops the virus from multiplying by blocking a protease or an essential enzyme that the virus needs in order to replicate. Protease inhibitors, again, are a medication that we use already for hepatitis C and HIV. It is using a mechanism that is already well established in other medications. In terms of what the medications do to your body, Dr. Vaisman says they're in the early stages of development, but we can look to other similar drugs as examples. We don't exactly know the long-term side effects, but if we take it to be similar to other drugs in the same class, the overall effect of the drug is not direct onto your immune system. So it's not thought to be boosting your immune system in that way or blocking any part of your immune system. The primary mechanism of action is directly on the virus itself. And while the medications mess around with the virus's RNA, Dr. Vaisman says they do not affect human DNA. There isn't concern that this will integrate into your DNA and cause any kind of genetic issues, you know, cancer or anything like that, or fertility. Um, there are side effects with all antivirals, uh, but they're, they're not related to it integrating into your DNA. For a more in-depth look into the workings of these new medications, you can go to our website, toronto.citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.